let's talk about the economy here in uh, California and specifically in the restaurant business. So we're now in November of 2023 and uh, it, I'm definitely feeling uh, business slow down in every since uh, at least September, if not before. I mean, it's been a challenging year regardless. Uh, my restaurants are down anywhere from 15 to 30 uh, percent throughout the year. But uh, so that's what I'm feeling. Now, the question is, is that going to get any better or any worse? I believe it's going to get worse. I think that uh, there's no relief in sight for this, uh, for everything being so expensive. And that it goes anywhere from leases to the food costs to labor and I'm specifically talking about California that the labor is just very tough to manage um, you know the minimum wage is at 1550 an hour uh, naturally the cooks and other people or you know management you know they're not functioning on minimum wage so their cost uh, for my cost to them is substantially more than minimum wage but just having to go through minimum wage and you know the frustrating part for me is um, you know some of these people that I'm having to pay fifteen fifty an hour are literally only worth five dollars an hour because they just don't know anything now I understand people have to make a uh, living wage I get that that's not even what I'm talking about because the people that are skilled and that do have the knowledge are doing fine but it's the ones that I'm bringing in that have literally no skills no communication skills no work experience the younger people right let's just say the hostess or the busser or the dishwasher or anybody else I'm bringing in that um, I'm required to pay this $15.50 an hour. Now, it's not even the $15.50 an hour. It's also all the taxes and shit on top of that. The work comp and the taxes that go along with that. So, you know, really it's, it's substantially more than that. And then when you have sales dropping, very, very difficult to manage. And so how do we factor that in? Well, service is definitely gonna suffer because we have to keep the human beings to a minimum at our facilities. Um, so we don't, we really, and, and it's not just me, you go look around at, at any restaurant in this uh, California coast specifically, and you know, labor's tight, and tight as in there's not a lot of people on the floor, and because everybody's having to work, let's call it, um, do more work with less people let's just call it that because it's not that everybody wasn't working hard prior to that but it's definitely challenging and so how's that going to work out long term i think it's going to be tough i think the the one thing that i know and that i've learned over the years is uh, i ask myself this and i ask my i question my staff and the question is how do i make more money uh, and and this will go for anybody. This will go for you. If you're a working person, you're getting an hourly wage and you know, you're focused on making more money. Sometimes the answer to that question is to spend less money. That's how I actually end up with less money. I don't make any more money, but I spend less while I'm able. So just managing your own money. So my solution to this uh, economic downturn or slowdown, let's call it, it might not even be a downturn. I don't think the people that um, have a substantial amount of money are gonna feel this nearly as much, but uh, we gotta manage our way around it. We have to be extremely tight. We've always been tight. We have to manage our people better. We have to, uh, you know, we gotta be consistent. We gotta look at portions. You know, there's all kinds of things that we gotta look at, but the bottom line is we have to manage our way through it. You know, I don't necessarily think it's a time to get scared. I think it's a time to get better and uh, better in marketing, better in watching our costs, better in portioning, better in scheduling, all kinds of things we can do better. Well, you know, sometimes when you have a substantial amount of money and lots of revenue behind you, that shit can get really sloppy. 
And uh, right now, I just think it's a time to get everything tight and uh, look forward to the future.